Hi, my name is Dr. Rachel Patzer, and I'm the president and CEO of the Regan Streif Institute, home of LOINC. LOINC from Regan Streif Institute is celebrating its 30th anniversary, commemorating three decades of health data interoperability innovation. LOINC's widespread implementation and adoption have made it a key component of interoperable health IT solutions in the U.S. and worldwide. It is used in nearly every country, mandated for use in nearly 30 countries, and is available in 20 translations. Supported by a very active worldwide user community, LOINC is critical to seamless health information exchange. LOINC's origin can be traced back to pioneering work by Regan Streif Institute investigators, led during its early years by principal founder, Dr. Clem McDonald. The innovative work related to LOINC continues today in Regan Streif's Health Data Standards Unit, supported by five active committees, an annual conference, and two release updates issued annually. Each release reflects our understanding of healthcare trends, the importance of collaboration, and delivers on our commitment to support information exchange and interoperability. The Institute is proud to be the home of this giant of terminology standards, and with the support of generous funders to make LOINC available to all users, accommodating information sharing on a scale that likely wasn't even hinted at when LOINC was founded. The standard is in use on computers, tablets, wearables, and smartphones, facilitating access and playing an essential role in providing better patient care. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services has acknowledged and recommended LOINC in federal regulations and initiatives. Key funders that provide long-term support for this vital standard include the National Institutes of Health's National Library of Medicine, the Office of the National Coordinator for Health Information Technology, and the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. The COVID-19 pandemic, the emergence of RSV outbreaks, and the progressive updates to clinical guidelines are just a few recent examples highlighting the need for and importance of health data interoperability. In times of crisis, having cogent data on outbreaks and testing is crucial to understanding critical situations and informing public health and policy decisions. Regan Streif collaborates with other major players in the healthcare data space to broaden LOINC dissemination and adoption, including via a long-term agreement with SNOMED International. In December of 2023, the Regan Streif Foundation generously provided a $4.4 million grant enabling Regan Streif's health data standards experts to co-lead with the Health Level 7 International's Gravity Project, a global initiative to categorize and standardize social determinants of health information into electronic health records. This ambitious project seeks to integrate social needs data into clinical care to more effectively address health inequities. This video shares insight into LOINC's illustrious 30-year history of enabling efficient transmission, understanding, and most importantly, use of health data as told by some of the people who have helped shape LOINC into the highly respected and influential system it is today. LOINC is literally, when you spell it out, logical observation, identifiers, names, and codes. And it's a database of codes and meanings for observations across a, a very large spectrum. Things that you can see and measure and evaluate in the real world to try and make sharing of data easier and more interoperable. If you write a rule and say if the patient's hematocrit is something or the patient's glucose is something, you need some standardized way of representing that. And so without LOINC or at least the terminology, we can't share data. LOINC standardizes clinical information because health systems, healthcare organizations all use their own language, which is not ideal. LOINC serves as the standard to make those things mean the same thing when they mean the same thing. And you have to have a standard to do that, particularly when you exchange patient data. And that's important to patient care and to provide better care overall. It's very satisfying and gratifying that this stuff that we started out with a bunch of geeks some 30 years ago, and then the next thing that happened was, you know, it spread and got used in many parts of the world. It's good just at sort of a, an organizational level to think that something that you're doing has found utility in, in many places, but actually personally to me, it's so fun because of the new people I get to meet and the, and the fun places we get to go. I love the international participation, the energy that the people from those other countries bring to the activity. and. They've contributed a bunch in their own way by translating LOINC into other languages. It's very satisfying and gratifying. If something has lasted 30 years, that's not bad. It's a sign of success. 
I don't think we expected to be this good, but we intended for it to be good. At the time that Loink began, Clem was at Regan Street. And because we wanted Loink to be available to everyone, we weren't looking to make a, a commercial venture out of this. Clem approached Regan Street and asked for their support. And I know that over the years, they've given a lot of financial support and organizational support. Sam Regenstreet, who funded the foundation, he likes stuff that was used a lot, but his family said he would love to know that it's all over the world now. You know, it felt like he'd done something practical. He always wanted practical, useful things to be created. I think there's two things on the horizon. I see much more collaboration between LOINC and other entities or standards. We're doing a lot of work with Stillman International now, and I think that serves as a model for what we'll do for the future. I also think we will provide more thought leadership to the standards community. I think that is a little known fact about what the LOINC community provides to the standards community and to healthcare. I'm tremendously excited about this NOMAD collaboration and making the LOINC ontology computable and integrated with SNOMED in the sense that you can reason consistently across the LOINC content and the, and the SNOMED content. I think there are opportunities to apply new kinds of automation, machine learning, AI techniques that will probably speed up the work that we're doing. The other thing that would help a bunch is if we had rapid access to real patient data so that we could know how LOINC was being used in the real world and whether it was consistent or things that we needed to improve or change. It would just be wonderful to be able to look at a million patient records and say what did they actually say in those records and what are all of the characteristics and attributes and value sets that are associated with that data and do it against real data instead of me guessing what's important. I had never been good at thinking um, about next year, but I think it'll be used more widely and it probably increased its scope to cover additional things that are emerging. I want to just say how grateful we are to Clem McDonald and to Stan Huff for their vision, their pioneering spirit that brought Moink to fruition. I don't think healthcare would be where it is if those two hadn't done what they did.